To create a new invoice, click the Invoices tab found in the left-hand navigation. Next, click Add Invoice found in the top right-hand corner. Next, notice that the invoice is placed in a draft status. Now, you may choose to enter the details of the invoice. The customer name is first, and you may choose to add a new customer at this time or choose from existing customers that you've preset within the customer's menu. You can just enter the first few letters of the customer's name and then choose the customer from the list. Once you choose the customer from the list, any details that have been entered at the customer level will then automatically appear in default into the fields that you see here, such as the mobile phone. You may also choose to enter an email address. An email address may be entered to email the invoice to the customer. A phone number may be entered to text the invoice to the customer. Now you can enter billing and shipping information. I'll just choose the plus sign and then choose from the existing billing information that I have saved for this customer. And I'll do the same for the shipping information. Next, the invoice date is defaulted to today's date, but I can change that by clicking on the calendar icon here and choosing any date. The due date is automatically set to net 30 days. However, I can choose the calendar icon here and choose any of the predetermined terms such as net 15, 30, 60, or 90 days out, or upon receipt, or I may choose any custom date by choosing the date from the calendar. I'm just going to choose upon receipt. Next, I may enter a PO number. This can be any number that I choose to enter that may help tie this invoice to any internal system I may be using. Next, the pay online link is automatically defaulted to yes, and credit cards are the accepted payment methods set here, which will allow the customer then to choose to pay via credit card, or if the customer has credit card information stored in the account vault as an actual customer here, then that information will be displayed to them um, so that they may choose to use that saved information and not have to find that information and enter it. Also, um, if ACH is installed, ACH will appear here as well as an accepted payment method, and then the customer would be able to enter their banking information to pay rather than credit card. And if the customer has the banking information stored uh, also within the customer's menu, then that information will be displayed asking if they'd like to pay with that saved information. So that's definitely a time-saving feature. Next, you'll enter the actual invoice items. So here I'm just going to enter a coffee cup. And I'll just enter a description as large. And then I'll update the quantity here to two. Notice that the price is set to eight um, and then the total is updated to 16. And then you may also choose to enter any discounts or tax that you have preset uh, within the settings tab. And you can choose to do so just by clicking on the chevron or the arrow that you see here. And this will then show you any of those taxes that you can choose from as well as any of the discounts. Next, you can enter a memo. And this will be visible to your customer. You can also choose to share any attachments that you'd like by uploading them here and those will be visible to the customer. Next, I have a few options. I can choose just to be proactive and come in and set up this invoice. Maybe I want to send it out at a later time and I can just click save. If I'd like to go ahead and add the payment at the time of creation, I can do that as well. So this is really helpful for anyone who's wanting just a detailed receipt, if you will, so that they can see exactly what they paid for. Um, so you can choose to add payment here at this time if you like or I can choose to save and send, which is what I'm going to do now. And notice our draft status is going to change to an unpaid status because I chose upon receipt for the due date. Um, so we've got the past due status, we've got the green banner letting us know that the invoice was sent successfully. We have an automatically generated invoice number that has been assigned by the system. I can see I also have the logo drop that I have preset within the settings tab, which makes my invoices look very professional. And then I also have the SKU that's been added here for me. I can see history as well on the invoice and I'll be able to continue to see that history as any payments are made. 
At the very top, I can choose again to go ahead and add a payment if I like, or if I choose the more option, I can choose to cancel this invoice, edit, print, or resend. And if I choose resend, I am able to see exactly how I've sent this invoice before, so email and text. So maybe I want to choose a different or alternative method, or I can choose to come back in and send those again, and I can even enter new information if the prior information uh, didn't work. So once that's done, I can then also just go ahead and go back to my invoices grid here, and I can now see the invoice that I created. Um, it's set to a past due status, a status with the invoice date and terms upon receipt. 